What's up guys? We are out at the range this morning because we are going to be unboxing the War Poet Subcompact Shadow Systems CR920. So we did get the optic on there already. It has a 13 round mag and all oh, this is for the Holosun 507K. Which, if you're looking for an optic for a smaller gun, the 507K is my absolute favorite version or our favorite type. And we will have a link to that in the description. And then here we go. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything I've been told is this will fit into a Glock 43 holster. I'm really hoping because. We also have a holster from uh, Radio Innovations uh, that we're going to be trying out with it. So it has a 10 round mag and a 13 round mag, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see. Here's the Radio Innovations holster. So this is my absolute favorite holster at the moment. Um, I now have a Radio Innovations holster for basically any carry gun I have. All right. So for size comparison, there is the SIG P365. So it is very similar. Yeah. So the SIG P365 and the War Poet so Subcompact. So it's honestly not much different. Slightly larger, a little wider grip, which is better for people with bigger hands like me. A little wider, more aggressive grip. Yeah. It's a little bit longer. Slightly longer. Okay. But overall, not a big difference. No, not really. So we had to change position of our table and everything because our cameras got too hot out in the sun this morning. Okay. So moving on for the next time. So we've already established this thing is not much bigger than the P365. I really, really do like this trigger. All right. So let's check this trigger. Uh, it's got the trigger safety. It's got, it's no external safeties. It's got the internal safeties. So here take up I like the take up good crisp good reset I like it, it uh, so it's advertised as a four and a half to five pound trigger pull uh, and you know without actually putting it on a tester it kind of feels very similar to that uh, but I, it's got a good defined wall and also has that nice crisp break, which I'm a really big fan of. Mm -hmm. It's got a really nice clear wall and a very, a very defined snap once yeah. you take that up. So, yep. Big fan of that. So it'll uh, make it easy to have a good trigger pull on it. Yep. Yeah. So it's got night sights, so you can see, you can pick those sights up really quickly. Of course, it has the red dot, which I'm a huge fan of red dots. We've talked about that in the past. Um, I'm a huge fan of red dots. So it's got that very minimal kind of branding. It's got War Poet there on the actual barrel. It has the logo here and then the logo over here. Uh, these nice window cuts. And I like the front side serrations because that makes it super easy to kind of grab the front and then, you know, rack your slide from there. Yeah, it's a very textured grip. Um, so it's, there's not going to be a whole lot of slipping and sliding. Um, I mean, you can get, you can get sweaty from your day of shooting and it won't slip and slide. So yep. it's got an aggressive grip with some ag aggressive grip texturization and it'll be really good for retention. I would imagine. I guess we'll find out. I guess so. I think it's about time to put the first 200 rounds through this thing and see how it goes. The first 200 rounds, uh, Shadow System says that it needs 200 rounds to break it in really good. So we're very interested to see how it is within, within that first 200 rounds and then also after that first 200 rounds. Okay, so. What'd you look at that? You ready to shoot? I'm ready to shoot. Awesome. Let's blow through 200 rounds. <laughs> So the War Poet Subcompact, 
has a 3.41 inch fluted barrel. The grip frame is very aggressively textured on all sides to make it easier to grip. It has a nice big dovetail to help prevent slide bite and allows for a nice high grip. All right, guys, so we just finished. We actually shot 201 uh, shots for our final little test with the SIG. We put uh, 10 through there, five each, to kind of see what our, how, if it felt snappier than the SIG P365, which I thought pretty much it, sound, it felt about the same as far as recoil. Mm -hmm. um, just, you're gonna be able to handle it better if you have larger hands yeah, as well. That's, so. that's kind of what it boiled down to. Uh, to it, it did not sway Jada. Her favorite is still the P365. Uh, and I think it, it, a lot of it is the size of my hands compared to the size of her hands. 201 shots, not a single malfunction. Not one. So it's been great. The Warport Edition came out after the very first run of the CR920s. Uh, so I know there was a couple people that had some problems trigger wise and barrel wise, but. Um, since the War Poet edition came out, I don't think they've had that kind of problem, and I know we didn't. And it was shipped out to us the very first day it was released. Yeah, overall, very impressive, impressive gun. I'm super impressed with it. Uh, am I gonna carry it uh, right off the bat? I think I actually wanna put some more rounds through it before I actually start carrying it, we'll see. I just want to get more used to it. I have lately been carrying the SIG, I've really kind of gotten used to that a little bit, although SIG is not my favorite. I tend to lean toward the Glock style guns. So um, you went and let yourself get used to it though. I did, I let myself get used <laughs> to it. And that's the one thing I noticed at that final little test when we shot five from the Warpoet subcompact and five from the P365, um, I noticed that, oh, I've, I've actually gotten used to shooting this little P365, even though naturally it's probably not the best fit for me. Overall, I feel like it's been a very successful unboxing. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, first 201 rounds, uh, no malfunctions whatsoever. I wanna shoot it a few more times. Am I going to start carrying that one? I do believe so. Uh, what we're gonna do a little later is we're gonna put this one, continue to put it through the test, and then we wanna kinda look at this one versus some other popular subcompacts. I'm very interested to see how it stacks up when we actually put it through some tests compared to the P365, uh, compared to uh, my previous favorite Shield Plus. Um, and I'm not sure, I'm, not, I'm still not sure exactly where I hang on that, stand on that one uh, now, because now that I've started to shoot more subcompacts, I'm finding there, the Shield Plus was my favorite, and now I'm, it's, it's a questionable thing. <laughs> the dark horse in this entire thing, working with some of these subcompacts, has been the Taurus GX4, and I really want to see how maybe that one stacks up compared to these as well, because that one's, I mean, you can buy, what, probably three or four of those guns for one of those, as long as with the optic and everything. So. <laughs> You get, a gun. you get a gun and I get a gun. <laughs> so we'll, we'll look into, uh, I want to look at, we really want to try to put out a video here before too long, uh, looking at all of these uh, and kind of putting them up against each other and see what we really, really think. Um, we've got a Glock 43 or another clone of the Glock 43 and we'll look at that one as well. Uh, so just a lot of different guns in this little area and uh, I'm very interested to see how some of them stack up against each other. Stay safe, stay alert. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.